Hi everyone, and this is going to be sort of like my introduction to matrixes video. I'm going to talk about them a little bit and then do an example with three equations and three unknowns. So, my title really should be using matrices to solve systems of equations with three variables, but I don't know how to spell matrices. So I just wrote matrix, but it's good. So, to do this, if you remember on my last video, when we did systems of three equations, using the elimination method, what you wanted to find, you wanted to find one of your variables equals something, and then you want to, you know, do some row operations so that you get a different variable equals something else. And eventually you'll get every one of your variables will equal some number. So it's the same idea in a matrix. You do the same um, method through a row operations, and the goal is to get a 1 with zeros below or above. So the way you read a matrix, these are your rows, so row 1, row 2, row 3, all that stuff. This is called an, this um, line makes it an, it's called an augmented matrix, and what that basically means is equals. So you read it as, this is the x column. So it says there's a 1x here, a 0x here, and a 0x here. This is the y column. There's a 0y here, 1y here, a 0y here. This is the z column. 0z here, 0z here, and 1z here. So when you read them across, you're going to get your 1x plus 0y plus 0z equals some number. 0x plus y plus 0z equals some number. So your columns correspond to your variable, but when you're writing out your final solution, you read them across to find what your variables equal. So I'm going to do an example. x plus y plus z equals 2. 4x plus 3y plus 2z equals negative 4. Negative 2x plus y minus z equals negative 2. So, I need to write this in a matrix. So first, I'm going to draw my square brackets, and I'm going to draw my vertical line. So, this is going to be row 1, row 2, row 3. So row 1, wait, first I'm going to do x1, there we go. Okay, so in my first row it says 1x, so a 1 in the x column, plus 1y, a 1 in the y column, plus 1z, a 1 in the z column, equals 2. And this is kind of like the number column, it's just whatever your equation equals. So in the second row, I've got 4x plus 3y plus 2z equals negative 4. And in my bottom row, I've got negative 2x plus 1y minus 1z equals negative 2. And a good place to um, start is this guy right here. You want Remember, the ideal is to get a 1 with zeros below. So I already have a 1, so that's good. So how am I going to get this to be a 0 and this to be a 0? I am going to first go... I'll make this one a 0 first. So I'm going to go R2 is the row that I'm changing, and I'm changing it into... R2, I'm going to go 4 minus 1 should give me 0. So minus 4 row 1 for my first step. So I'm not changing row 1. So I'm going to go write that down here. 1, 1, 1, 2. I'm not changing row 3. So negative 2, 
1, negative 1, negative 2. So row 2 minus 4, row 1, I guess I can put on my brackets now. R2 minus 4, row 1. R2 in this row, 4 minus 4 is going to give me 0. 3 minus 4 times 1. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. And then 2 minus 4 times 1 is going to be 2 minus 4 or negative 2. And then you do the same thing in your number column. Negative 4 minus 4 times 2. So negative 4 plus minus 8 is going to give me negative 12. Okay, so now that I have a 1 with a 0 below, I'm going to make this a 0, 2. And then I will only have 1x in all my rows. And you'll see where this is going, I promise. Um, so, how am I going to do that? I'm going to go row 3 is the one I'm changing. So I'll go row 3 plus, if I go negative 2 plus 2, I should get 0. So plus 2, row 1. So, 1, 1, 1, 2 stays the same. 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 12 stays the same. Row 3 plus 2 are 1, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, 1 plus 2 is 3, negative 1 plus 2 is 1, and negative 2 plus 4 is 2. Okay, so now in my x column, I've got exactly what I need, a 1, and everything else is a 0. So the next thing... I need to get this to be a 0, this to be a 0, and I want this to be a 1 so that I can get this formation, 0, 1, 0. So I'm going to go row 2, so I'm changing, and I'm just going to divide that by negative 1. So, row 1 stays the same. 1, 1, 1, 2, row 3, stays the same, 0 divided by negative 1, that's just 0, negative 1 divided by negative 1, it's 1, oh, I guess I should have written that better, it's okay. And then negative 2 divided by negative 1, 2, and then negative 12 divided by negative 1, it's just 12. Okay, so that's the 1, I need zeros above and below. So I'm going to do, I think, sort of two steps at one, just because I'm running out of room. So I'm going to, to make this a zero, I'm going to go row three minus three row two. I'm changing row three by replacing it with row three minus three row 2, and then to make this a 0, I'm going to change R1 and replace it with R1 minus R2. So, the row I'm not changing is row 2, so that stays the same, 0, 1, 2, 12, row 3 minus 3 R2, 0 minus 0 is 0, 3 minus 3 is 0, 1 minus 6, negative 5, negative, oh, okay, 2 minus 36, it's definitely going to be negative 34, there we go. Okay, and then I'm going to do this step, so row 1 minus row 2, 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, and 2 minus 12 is negative 10. Um, now the next thing to worry about, this is all good, um, so now I'm going to move on to my Z column. So I want my 1 to be in this spot, so I'm going to go row 3, the one I'm changing, changing it to row 3 divided by negative 5. I'm going to write this over here. 
So, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 10, 0, 1, 2, 12, 0 divided by negative 5 is just 0, this becomes a 1, negative 34 over 5, that's no fun. Okay. So I need to make these two both zeros. So first I'm going to go, I'll make this a zero, so I'll go row one plus row three. So zero, one, two, twelve, zero, zero, one, negative thirty four over five. And then this is going to be 1, 0, 0, negative 16 over 5. Oh dear. Where my line go? Oh, it goes in there. Okay, and then I'm going to go really fast because my battery is about to die. Row 2, minus 2, row 3, and you're going to end up with 1, 0, 0, negative 16 over 5. This is going to be 0, 1, 0, negative 8 over 5, 0, 0, 1, 34 over 5. So you read this as x equals negative 16 over 5, y equals negative 8 over 5, and z equals 34 over 5.